Hello, this is Ami Diamond, and in this episode, we'll talk about the File Viewer web part. It's a web part in SharePoint Online, and the purpose of this web part is to present uh, a file, uh, usually an Office file, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and uh, other types on a page. Um, so, how do we do it? Actually, uh, we would go to a page or create a page. Uh, I would edit the page and press the plus button and in the search bar look for viewer and we found it. Now it will ask me um, which file. So uh, I see here the recent. I could go to the site and choose the document library where the file is uh, stored. Uh, I can also upload the file. So in this case, I will go to the training and I have Excel, Word and PowerPoint. So let's choose Word, for instance. I will open the, the file. Uh, now I can see that um, the file is presented on the page. If I press the pencil, I can see um, they can choose which page I want to start. In this case I have only one page but if I would choose two then actually it would present the starting from the second page. In addition um, if we add uh, Excel, power, uh, Excel file we will have different uh, settings so actually I will go to a page that I have created So for Excel, actually, I added an Excel file um, and I want to show you which settings uh, we have. So here we have the option to show the entire file. We can show the grid lines and show the columns and uh, allow to sort. Or we can uh, present only specific uh, information, for instance, chart. Um, this file, Excel file, has a chart. Um, so if I know the name of the chart, in this case, chart 5, I can apply it and now I see um, not all of the information, only the chart. If I change it and go to a table and I have a table for instance that is called meat. Um, the names are within the Excel so you need first to create the names. Um, if I apply it, now I see it's showing only the table which is called uh, meat. The strange thing is, if I want to switch between uh, all of these options and I don't delete the information, then it, it stays where, where it is. The third option is actually the range, where I can say the name of the sheet. So in this case uh, I'm working on a sheet which is called uh, food and I can say I want from C3 to C6. I can also change the file if I, if I don't like it. Actually now I see only C3 to 6. If I make it larger then now I see the range. So um, I can, if I change to entire um, workbook, I still see here this information because uh, it remembers for some reason uh, the, the value here. So this seems to be a bug, but now I see uh, the file. Uh, the third option is a PowerPoint. Here I'm presenting it 
in in a um, collapsible uh, section which is a new feature um, which is causing a bit of a problem to show this let me here we go so this uh, PowerPoint has several um, pages I could go and say uh, in, instead of start at page one start at page or instead of page two start at page one and now I see uh, the first page and I can say start from page three and I will only see page three so actually the file viewer uh, enables to to present the documents I don't think it's meant for working and on the documents but more presenting uh, so uh, the last option that is possible is to add um, to add to the page both the file viewer and the document library so uh, I'll want to show you how it works what I'll do is I'll create a new page blank page let's call it uh, doc viewer can delete this text web part I'll set the section into two columns and on the left side I will add uh, the document library web part I can choose the document library and for instance I could choose a folder and on the other hand on the right side I will add the file viewer now I will not add anything what I want is based on the choice that I choose here it will present the document so in order to do this I'll click on the edit web part and there's three dots here which connects to the source now I need to choose the source the source will be the documents document library once I added this um, if I choose, I'll, I'll save this and publish it. Okay. Now, if I, for instance, go to mark this Word document, I will see this Word document. If I choose this document, then I will see. So it's dynamic. The only problem is that if you mark two documents, then shows something very strange so what you need to do is to uncheck only one selection can be done at once so um, this is what I wanted to show you by the way for PowerPoint yeah as I said PowerPoint and Word the, the uh, file viewer is much more simple settings uh, for the Excel, uh, it lets you uh, show specific things. So, hope you learned something and uh, we'll be happy to see you in the next episode. If you can uh, give a like, I will thank you and uh, happy SharePoint day. Goodbye.